Helpful. That finds finding the trend accuracy of it. Yeah, that is your trend accuracy. Like define the hard close properly. Even if we were to take this on the say on the daily, we would have very much the same outlook, right? We'd have quite simply this right here to this right here to this right here. So when the daily closes, you have the bigger move up, right? So so again, it's it's gonna be almost the exact same thing, right? On the 12 hour, you defined it a little, a little clearer right here. On the four hour, you can see the move breaking there, right? So it will be respected across your time frames, right? Like even you can see where it breaks on the hourly. Um, I wonder if you can see the, the point where it breaks on the 15 minute. So the 15 minute you could adapt it to here and then there's like nothing left, right? Because you've already gone through the hourly, you've already gone through the um, four hour, the 12 hour, you've, you've, oh, Jesus, come on, trading view. You've moved it down to such a small time frame. There's nothing left. Like you could go to the five minute time frame, but the next five minute hard close is going to be like this cat over here. And then the one minute hard close is not going to, it's going to be one minute. It's going to be right here. And then it's just gone. And, and, and so by adapting it on time frames to get trend accuracy, you have 8% in less than like what, an hour or two. So, so this is, this is, um, you know, trend accuracy is important. Just respect the rules. Don't improvise them. Don't just attach them to swing highs. Respect the hard closing rule. And and you like look how accurate this is. And then and then we can go down to the five minute. Sure, why not? You know, you could do this all the way down to the one minute break, right there. Dwindle it down to the to the three minutes. Sure, why not? Like you're, you're literally in the minutes of the breakout. Like you're, you're, you're within the minutes of breakout. So when you pass this, all you need is a one minute hard close. So all you need is this hard close here and it's already gone, right? Like all you need is this here and the move is like actually gone, but you're just getting in later and later and later. Cause all you're doing is staircasing up the, the hard close because really it should be back on the, you know, 12 or the four or the daily even like daily would have been here. Right. Go to the 12. It would have been here. There would have be this one here, that hard close. Go to the four. You've got the fours already there. Go to the one, find the one hour, which is right here, which I'm sure there's a moment before. So, so yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's all that accuracy. And then even the 15 minute here, right? I think I didn't grab the actual point. And then, and then you've, you've got it, like you've got it right there. And it's just off to the races after that. So. Since I'm starting blueprints in the next couple of days, are there videos more in depth on trends? No, not on blueprint. Um, why did you start on the accumulation candle at February 23rd? No specific reason, Ramones. Just just a random one I picked. Um, no specific reason that I use that candle J just to show the concept of hard closing working. Um, no, there's more trend work in butterfly effect. Um, blueprint is specifically procedural analysis. So, so that is to step people into future of trading into actually doing it as a career making money. So it's a different type of knowledge. There's more technicals in butterfly. Butterfly is where you get a deeper level of technicals. Um, butterfly effect is what you guys are, are looking for. Then if you're looking for more advanced knowledge, like actual, um, like how to catch things to a dollar into the cent and stuff like that. Like the, the technicals that, that show you the, the, the deepest part of these charts is, is butterfly effect. Um, blueprint is more procedural. So it's the stepping stone for people to actually start making money and, and using FOT and who need that helping guide to make money. But blueprint is amazing in itself. It's, it's a, it's a great course. So you guys will enjoy it for sure. So that's trend to ring and trend accuracy, right? Um, rejection versus retracement. So, so that's interesting because, because that also steps into a larger form of, of knowledge. So rejection versus retracement, you have to see rejection and retracement as knife catches. Okay. So, so like this right here would be rejection. The, the, the whole thing about rejection versus retracement is that understanding they go after a very extreme level that level is respected. And this is typically onset by a large dump in a move, right? A large dump happens or a large pump happens, like a large move up or down happens. And, and then a very extreme level is hit, right? Like a very, very extreme level. For example, you have um, 
this right here, this, this big move up, what is the difference between rejection and retracement? It's typically going after a very large level. And I think it went after an even bigger part of its range right here, which is fine. You could have still used this level and been, and been you know, a-okay there. Um, let's get rid of these brush strokes. Oops. Don't want to lock that one. Get rid of these. So rejection versus retracement. Um, when you have rejection in a move, it's it's typically a pullback, right? Like you 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 have rejection and retracement. And really, the thing to understand about this is that rejection is typically going to start a cycle. Because if if we think about this for a second, rejection. Like let's define those. Let's just quickly define those again. Rejection is when you go straight down and bounce off of it, or or straight up and bounce off of it. Okay. That's rejection. Retracement is when you go down, attack a level, and then and then just start to retrace off of it, right? Like this, right? Something like that. Or you go up and you have retracement. Okay. This is what happens in a laddering scenario. So so this means it's hit a whole level here, it's at a whole level here, it's at a whole level here, it's at a whole level here. It's developing a trend, right? So it is it in itself is developing a trend. So retracement develops trend, which is typically a long-term move in that direction because it creates a trend that has kind of a base point, right? Like this, this trend is, you know, kind of goes like this. And even if it pulls back and hits a really, you know, untested greedy level, all it does is it creates this to this point right here. So, so this re retracement typically creates a trend. Okay. That typically creates a trend that is going to continue its direction. Okay. So, so now we look at rejection because that's retracement, right? Some, something hits and then it just retraces off of it like that. Again, that's a trend. And once that trend breaks, it's going after a lower range. So it, it kind of typically um, continues its move in that direction. Retracement is, is more of a knife catch, more like this and more like this. Retracement goes after super greedy targets, right? Like even, are we on XPT? Here we are. So even here, oops, 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 we would have had, um, well, BitMEX, they, they, you know, at first it would have hit this level and, and, and BitMEX, it should have went right here. 36.63 should have been the level it went after. Um, so 36.63, you know, if we go look at that same level on, on Bitcoin, 36.63 is... We can call it like right there. Let's find 36.69. Maybe we can fine tune it a bit more. Uh, that's fine. So, so, so BitMEX, they, they had a, a, a downtime during the dump. Of course, joke. It's completely fake. Um, it hit the level it was supposed to hit. Quite simple. It hit the level it was supposed to hit. And, and this is very indicative of going after a target. So rejection versus retracement when you have these large moves and, and even right now what you're seeing develop right now, it's typically going after a target, right? So, so you're going to have a target in the move, right? Something like that. It got hit, right? You can see it right there. Pulls back, goes after its next range right here, right? Um, so, so you can see where the hold levels are being hit. This is very much like targets, are rejection because it goes after a target and it bounces straight off right that will reverse the direction of a move like when it goes after target and bounces straight off that's an influx of volume coming in or a larger amount of contracts closing so so that rejects a move because it means there's enough selling pressure when rejection happens that the so, so for here for example oops and then we're just going to put this one back right here. That's fine. Yeah, just stick it there for a second and put it on, on its actual level, which is right here. That's fine. Um, what happens is long contracts open, long contracts close. So, so this is the large closing of a contract because the target was hit. So, so that's important to know. When you have rejection in a move like this, it's because contracts are closing. That means targets getting hit. That means it's typically um, going to lose its move. Like when it, you know, it's going to hit this and then it's going to lose its trend and it's going to fall back down against its next target. <clears throat> so rejection leads to targets being hit on the other side. Retracement is like this, where it continues its direction. Like this. Hits a target, right? This is its target here. And then it would have had a further target 
here, right? I had one right there, and I had another target right here, right? Whatever, it's, it's, it's in here, that's fine. We don't have to mark the exact level. Anyways, the point being is that these aren't, uh, we'll put that one back. This one should be right here. These aren't big rejection points. Like this is rejection. This one here was rejection, but then so it fell down quite a bit and just held its level, right? Like it simply held its level. And, and then it's in a retracement uh, stage, right? Like it's just retracing off its levels, going after a bigger range, after a bigger range until it hits that point of rejection where it's reversing. So it's kind of like rejection versus retracement. You can see that as kind of like a reversal of a move. Now it's not quote unquote reversal. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, oh, you can see reversal of a move based on rejection or retracement. This would be one small token that would help you understand if it's rejecting or not. This wouldn't give you, is it rejecting yes or no? As a blanket statement, you can just say yes or no. No, that, that's, that's not what this is. It can't, it can't be, it can't do that. Um, but it can tell you what's, what is, it's trying to start, right? Like, you know, quite simply, there's gonna be a whole level here that's trying to hold the move up. Uh, there it is right there, and that's trying to hold the move up. Um, th there's quite simply going to be a whole level that's trying to hold this move up. And even right now on the ladder right here, this is the whole level on a smaller time frame right here that's trying to hold this ladder up. And this trend is going to continue its direction off of that rejection. You see how that makes, how that works? The rejection happens and then it creates the retreat or the, it, it creates the retracement, but in the opposite direction. So there's a very big difference. Like the, 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 there's a very black and white difference between them because as to one as a target, which means that's where new contracts open. The other is the continuation of a move. And one creates a continuation of the move. So when rejection happens, it creates a continuation in the other way. It creates retracement in the opposite direction. Hey everyone, how's it going? As you know, I'm now giving out some of this content uh, for free that I was otherwise charging for for the past little while. Um, yeah. Drop a donation, subscribe to the channel, uh, join Patreon. You'll get access to Discord. Great way. Lots of top level traders in there, people who are doing this for a career every single day. So go to Patreon, join us here, get access to Discord. Um, go on Reddit, talk about future of trading, talk about the science of trading, talk about cotton candy, um, socials, everything you can. Let's help this thing grow. Uh, it's, it's the way you guys can thank me for giving out this content for free that I was otherwise charging money for. So, um, I'll leave a Bitcoin address on the screen. Uh, I'll leave the Patreon address on the screen. Um, just do something to help out. Okay, thanks guys. Take care.